Now, I would describe you in this, or in the creation of this, as a merchant of dealing in real. <laughs> okay. All the topics are, they're so real. Uh. So, would you say that that is why it's so successful? Well, these are all topics that um, myself and Alan, the co-creator, are. these are all ideas and topics we're all passionate about, whether it be the race and entertainment episode or whether it be about um, relationships. Like, these are all things that we talk about in our real lives and that our friends talk about. Yeah. And uh, so it's not surprising to me that this stuff resonates, but I didn't think it would resonate the way it did. You know, while we're on the topic of kind of diversity, the show was very racially diverse and obviously with the topics as well and the cast members, is that something that was kind of intentional or did it happen organically for you? It happened kind of organically because well, there was a character, I was obviously going to be in the show, yeah. and then we had a character based on Alan, who's Taiwanese-American, yeah. like Brian. Um, so there was always going to be those two guys. Yeah. And then the other roles, we kept it open ethnicity for everything else, and it just so happened that for the female friend, we wanted a female friend, and it, the person that ended up getting it was uh, an African-American woman yeah. who's also a lesbian, and then for the other guy, guy friend ended up being a white guy, and then... Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of our core cast. I think the reason the diversity in our show works and doesn't feel forced is because that's really me and Alan's life. Like, we do yeah. have a diverse group like that, and, and we do have friends that are Asian and black and everything. You know, I mean, we've all seen those shows where they have, like, three white friends, yeah. and they're like, oh, we should probably get a black guy in yeah, here. And then they like, put some black the guy token. in there. Yeah, and then you can just watch the show, and you're like, Cringe, black guy really yeah. doesn't want to hang out with these people. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely has another group of friends yeah, that absolutely. he wants to be with. Um, so it, it's tough. Uh, but... Uh, I, I'm glad people responded to the diversity we have in the show, and I do think there's people that are like, oh wow, this this is like my group of friends, yeah. and I haven't seen this before, which is cool. There is a really, really funny scene that you do with an incredibly awkward audition in a Starbucks. I want to know what your real life awkward auditions are like. Do you have any that are kind of similar to the one you film in uh, Masters of None? Well, it, the auditions I've had in real life are probably closer to the, uh, the audition I do in episode four in Indians on TV, okay, where, yeah. where someone's asked me to do an accent or something like that. Yeah. That's always a little awkward. We need you to do an accent. You mean like an Indian accent? You know, Ben Kingsley did an accent in Gandhi, and he won the Oscar for it, so... But he didn't win the Oscar just for doing the accent. I mean, it wasn't an Oscar for best Indian accent. That happened to me early on, and then at a certain point, I was like, I, I told the people that I was working with, like, I don't really want to do that, and so they just didn't bring me in for anything like that, yeah. or an accent. But I had had that early on, where where people would be like, you know, it'd be nice if you did the accent. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I'm cool. Thanks for that. Yeah. I'll yeah. call you. Aziz's real parents feature in the series, and he admits they were always supportive of his career choice. I never had a conversation with them where I was like, I'm dropping out of school, I'm gonna become yeah. a comedian. Because uh, I think then they, like any parent would be there, yeah. be a, <laughs> a little bit like, what are you doing? Um, but for me, like I started doing stand up in college and then you know, pretty shortly after I graduated, I started appearing in magazines and things like that. So it seemed like more like a real thing to them. And then once you're on TV and things, it's so tangible yeah. that your parents understand it a little bit more, you know? Aziz, you've been a star. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much, man. You're I appreciate it. You're an gentleman. Thank you very thanks. much. Oh, thanks for coming by. Pleasure, I appreciate sir. it.